I guess the most interesting thing about Greta Thunberg is how manufactured and fake the story was. Everything from the way that they were dressing her to make her look like a child, despite the fact that she was a teenager at the age of 17, they were trying to dress her up so that she looks 12 or 14, uh, to the fact that the story was, was so bewildering and so bizarre that you needed to have the mind of a child in order to believe it unironically. Uh, the claim was that one day she decided to skip school and she was protesting for the environment. And the next day she was shaking hands with Obama, meeting with Arnold Schwarzenegger and asking our betters, how dare you? I mean, I skipped school a lot of times. I, I never got the opportunity. And I think that if you were to skip school as well, um, you may not get the chance to go to the United Nations. Uh, but yeah, like anyone that actually looked into what was going on, uh, they would see that there were powerful bankers and rich people interested in having a child to promote their message. And they went to her class, and besides her, uh, very few or no one was willing to step up, so they chose her. Uh, this is a um, tactic that has been used by authoritarian government uh, throughout history. Uh, the Soviet Union had its own children that they used. Uh, the Nazis themselves would use uh, oftentimes propaganda with a little girl with uh, blonde hair. Uh, and the purpose is simple. Um, if you try to disagree or, or if you try to uh, ridicule, then the answer is, well, it's just a child. Like, why, why are you an adult uh, attacking a child, right? So it's viewed as uh, incredibly socially awkward to criticize uh, but but if you don't disagree, then the words that she is saying are being taken as gospel. And it's like, look how intelligent the new generation is. Look, look how much smarter and more educated it is. Like for the first time in human history, uh, the egg is smarter than the chicken. Uh, the son gets to teach the father how to make children. And, and, and that is like the revolutionary mindset. You, you will see it in uh, communist China. You will see it in North Korea. You, you saw it in the Soviet Union. Is the idea that the new generation is more enlightened and more smarter than the adults, which are all decrepit, and we, we can hardly wait until they have no more political power so that the world can be healed by the new generation. It's, it's a story as old as time itself. Uh, it, it goes against like the common sense, you know, the old man of the village or the wise woman. It's like the, These are people that are intelligent because they have lived and they have already experienced life and they have more to say than a child. But, but in a Marxist revolutionary thing, it's the child that is smarter. So, as I was saying, yeah, like everything with Grieta was manufactured, uh, including the fact that she was never in any debate. Like, I don't think there is a single instance where she debated someone that disagreed with her, uh, or where she had to answer questions from journalists that weren't on her side. And uh, obviously, this is part of uh, the reason that this was manufactured, because it's like, well, on one hand, she's just a child. Like, she can't be expected to understand these things. But on the other hand, it's like, oh, she's so intelligent. She's so ahead of her time. Like, she knows things that adults should already be aware of, right? So, uh, yeah, I mean, again, almost everywhere where she appeared, the common sections had disabilities. Uh, the people that were pushing her were the average people, the common man. It was the mainstream media. Like, like everything was a massive PR campaign. I don't even think that you can claim she was an influencer. I mean, if you look at... Uh, music bands like for example kiss back in the day they were actual influencers people would try to dress like them emulate like them copy their songs do you see people trying to to emulate greta thunberg or, or do what she does or anything? no like everything is not organic I, I remember there there was like this event where it was uh skip the school day in order to protest for climate activism or whatever and and most schools allowed the children to actually go to those events but when you actually look at those events on twitter and you had like an actual person going on the ground and asking the students why they were there almost no one was there for the environment they were like oh well we can't skip school so yeah, like, unironically, I, I do not think that she has any pull. I do not think that she has any sway. Um, and it is bizarre that Israel actually takes her seriously, because to me, this is a desperate cry for attention.
I mean, she she just wants to get back into the spotlight. And uh, you, you have, like, the, these bizarre things that are being put together. Like, you have members of Hamas that are uh, taking hostages, uh, shooting people, uh, shooting elderly, shooting young women. And then you have Greta Thunberg uh, saying that she stands with Gaza and that she wants climate justice. Like, what, biodegradable missiles? Um, what are we talking about? Solar power tanks? Like, like what is... How does the world look like uh, with climate justice? But it's not only that, right? It's um, also the fact that she doesn't talk about other conflicts that most people um, don't hear about on television. Like, she's not talking about the Uyghurs that uh, are suffering in China. She's not talking about uh, African countries. Like, I have uh, certain subscribers from South Africa, and they're suffering greatly under load shedding. And uh, the ESG in their country is quite high. I, I don't see Greta addressing that issue at all. In fact, uh, she would probably want what's happening in South Africa to happen in our countries too. And, and again, like th this looks like a desperate cry for attention. And I do not understand why the Israeli government decided to give her attention. Because there aren't many people that really care what Greta has to say. I mean, go to the comment sections where she talks. Oh, why they they have disabilities? I wonder why that is. But but like, ask the average people on the street. You know, ask the hairstylist, ask the taxi driver, ask like someone that you get to talk about, like your waitress, and see that they don't really care. <laughs> like she's not influential. Uh, she used to be when people were pumping money into her. But like again, any person on earth can be influential if you have rich and famous people dumping money into that person. So uh, apparently she says that the world need to speak up and call for an immediate ceasefire, justice and freedoms of Palestinians and all civilians expected. Okay. Uh, Israel's account manager at the Middle Eastern country of foreign affairs did not miss words. And apparently he said that uh, Greta Thunberg, Hamas doesn't use sustainable materials for their rockets which have butchered innocent Israelis, the victims of Hamas massacre could have been your friends. Speak up, Israel protested. Uh, so, again, like, like, I, I think like this was another, um, n not, not necessarily like this particular one, but I remember seeing a photo op where, you know, the cops uh, basically were dragging her from a protest. And, like, everything is so manufactured, and it's so fake. It, it is just, Bizarre that the Israeli government decided to give her the time of day. I mean, we used to have this saying back in my day, and I think it should come back. And that is, ignore the troll. Let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.